guys now we want to cut out uh jackets we have a uh, top length which is 26 plus 2 inches sewing allowance we have 28 inches and that is what we have for our length so the next thing we are going to do is to go ahead and mark our basic measurement so uh shoulder to arm o shoulder to arm o we have nine inches shoulder to bust we have nine and half bust to waist we have eight inches so i'll go ahead and mark it again shoulder to arm o we have nine inches so that's arm o nine inches so that's bust nine and a half bust to waist we have eight inches so i'll go ahead now with my pattern master and i'll connect this line together we connect it this is what we have now the next thing we're also going to do now is to mark our under bust so shoulder to our under bust shoulder to our under bust we have 13 and a half inches shoulder to under bust we have 13 and a half inches so go ahead and mark our under bust now and then go ahead and connect it so this is our arm o line this is our bust line under bust waist and of course our hip which happens to be our gown line so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our dart so for our dart we have four inches for our dart we are going to mark four inches we are going to mark four inches also and then we'll mark four inches so this is our dart line which is four inches so we'll go ahead and connect it to give us a straight line so this is what we have once you've marked it to give you a straight line this is what you have now on the waistline mark one inch on both sides on the waistline mark one inch on both sides this is our waistline this is our under bust bust line and arm o so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and connect it to the bust line this way because what we want to achieve is our dart you can see what it looks like so we are just basically connecting it to give us our dart right so here we have our basic dart but of course we want to have like a bustier effect to give some structure to the bust area on this waist on your under bust now your under bust go ahead and mark quarter of an inch or half inch go ahead and mark half inch this is our under bust this is our waist bust line don't forget that so use your pattern master now and connect it this way connect it with your pattern master so this is basically what you have now for you to connect your under bust to your bust line we are going to use this curvy part of our pattern master we are going to use this curvy part of our pattern master and pattern masters are available okay you can get your pattern master from our store it is available so we'll go ahead now and connect it so by the time we connect it this is what we have you can see that curvy effect you can see that curvy effect because of the bustier so now the next thing we are going to do is your dart line extend your dart line to your shoulder this is our dart line to the shoulder yeah this is our dart line to the shoulder now on this shoulder you are going to mark between five to six inches depends on how curvy you want it to be so for me five inch is okay you can do five you can do six it all depends on you so connect this five inch now to the bust area connect this five inch to the bust area now this is what we have by the time you go ahead and you close this shoulder dart can you see 
by closing these darts automatically your bust area will pop up and this is where you have a bustier effect automatically you can see that without doing anything just close this your shoulder that and automatically your bust area will pop up why because this is where we have the structure of our bustier effect you can see how it stands on its own so by the time you pad it you also have your bust your bust region pop up padded perfectly so now that is what we have so the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and mark our basic measurements when i mean basic measurements it simply means we have to mark our bust measurements on the bust line we have to mark our waist measurements and of course our hip measurements when you want to mark your shoulder measurements you have to close your shoulder that before you mark your shoulder measurements so that your shoulder measurements will be accurate right so you close your shoulder dart and then you go ahead and you mark your shoulder measurement so my shoulder measurement is seven inches i have it marked here because if you don't close it before you mark your shoulder measurements you find out that your shoulder measurements might be marked on this um shoulder dart which you don't want it to be so so this is our shoulder measurement now let's take our bust measurements which is 11 inches our bust measurements 11 our waist measurement is nine our waist measurement is nine and our hip measurement is 11.5 11.5 so go in with your pattern master and then connect your bust to waist once you connect your bust to waist then you connect your waist to hip right connect your waist to hip so this is what we have now the next thing we are going to do now is to connect your bust line to your shoulder so we are making use of this arm o curve which also comes in the set of our pattern master and then we we'll go ahead and we connect it this way so this is what we have very simple and easy now the next thing we are going to do is to go ahead and mark out the neckline because what we have is jackets we are going to use two and a half inches by two and a half inches is a high neck form of jacket so really don't want it to be too deep so we are using two and a half by two and a half inches and i'll just use my ample curve to get the curved shape of our neckline so this is what we have next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and cut this out so let me cut this out now see what we have we've gone ahead to cut out where we have our shoulder and also our dart and our neckline and this is definitely what we have for the front piece you can see what we have for the front piece so we are going to go ahead now and set this aside trust me the back piece is actually very very easy the back piece is very easy so the first thing we have to do is of course go ahead and mark your basic measurements ensure that you know what you have in the front block is also what you have here so we have our shoulder to arm o we have our shoulder to bust we have our bust to waist to be eight inches and of course waist to hip should be nine inches right now we we'll go ahead with our pattern master and then we'll connect it together with a straight line connect it together also our shoulder to under bust our shoulder to under bust we had 13 and a half inches so we're also going to mark that here shoulder to under bust also we'll go ahead and connect it so we have shoulder to bust so that's um oh nine inches so that's so under to bust nine and a half so that's under bust 13 and a half bust to waist hip eight inches waist to hip eight inches so this is what we have now the next thing we are going to do is to go ahead and mark our dart allowance 
because it's jacket it simply means that our back block doesn't have any zip allowance so now we'll go ahead and mark our dots we have four inches for our dots you know in the front block also we had four inches right so once you mark your four inches all the way down you go ahead with your pattern master and of course you connect the lines together connect the lines together and this is what you have on your waistline go ahead and mark one inch on both sides on the waistline mark one inch on both sides and then you connect it to your bust and you connect it also to your bust this way and of course you connect from your bust to waist and your waist to hip so very easy this does not have you know it's not like the front block where we had a lot going on so the next thing we have to do now is to mark our basic measurements our shoulder which is seven inches our shoulder seven inches our uh, bust 11 inches waist 9 our uh, waist 9 inches and our uh, hip 11 and half inches so once you are done you can see that our back block is very simple connect your bust line to your waist and waist to hip and raise to hip so once you are done you can see the effect of what we have already so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead with our arm o curve and connect our shoulder to our arm o okay you can see what we have now we'll go ahead and mark our neckline we made this of two and a half inches but for the back block i'm going to make it of two and a half inches by one inch two and a half by one inch and i want it to be a squared neckline a squared neckline so this is what we have for our neckline now we are going to take out our shoulder slope so on your arm or line mark one inch connect it to your neckline voila your back block is ready so simple so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and cut this out so let's cut that out and i'll show you guys what we have back block we are not opening up this um part because of course your back block doesn't need any opening and this is what you have for the back block so the next thing we are so this is the african print we are using you can see how yummy 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 it is so yummy so yummy 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 so yummy so yummy <laughs> so first thing first is african prints are available in different colors different designs different patterns you know so you can order for yours so first thing is to fold my fabric into two i'm folding my fabric into two okay so after folding my fabric into two now, I'm going to take out my back block. Now, because what we want to achieve is jacket, it simply means that we are going to have one single piece for our jacket for the back block and two pieces for the front block. So this back block now, we are going to place it on our fabric this way. So let me still reduce the folding. So this is our back block right we've gone ahead now to place our back block on this fabric and just pin it down so that it can stay firm ensure that you know you have a straight point at this point so what we are going to do now is basically to go ahead and cut this out you can 
your back block on your fabric folded into two as you can see and then we've gone ahead to cut it out so we are going to have one single piece for the back block because what we're achieving is a jacket right so go ahead now and set this aside so the next thing we are going to do is we are also going to take our fabric can you guys see how cute this fabric is <laughs> Can you see how cute this fabric is? Fabrics are available and you can use it to make any fab any style of your choice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and fold my fabric again into two because we are going to cut out the front piece now. So I'll just go ahead and ensure that my fabrics are you know properly laid my fabric don't forget that for our front piece we have two pieces right we had two pieces for our front piece so I'm just ensuring that you know the fabrics are properly laid so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead now and pin I'm going to pin this down cutting it you can see but we are not done yet. Don't forget that we have two pieces for the front piece. Don't forget that we had two pieces for for what? We are back to our fabric again. So we go ahead and fold our fabric into two. So now I've laid it properly. Next thing we have to do is to go ahead and cut. <laughs> We've cut it out for the front piece. This is what we have two pieces, as you guys can see. This is the complete piece for our front block. You can see for the front block. So, because what we have is jacket. Because what we want to achieve is jackets, for this front piece now, we are going to open this up. Because we are to have two pieces for the front piece. We are to have two pieces because it's a jacket. So we are opening up the front piece. That's the reason. So, can you guys see? This is what we have for the front piece. And of course, for the back piece, we just have a single... This is our front piece, and this is what we have for the back piece. So, let's go ahead now and cut out the interface exactly the same way you have your fabric. is what you are going to use to cut out your interface so that you can have a nice turning. So first thing first is this is the back block. You can see I've gone ahead to turn the back piece. You know, this is the back piece. I've gone ahead to turn it. You can see I've turned this with lining. I've also stitched my darts. And this is what we have for the back block. Now for the front piece, for the front piece, we have two pieces. You can see we have two pieces. This is one piece. This is the second piece. I've also gone ahead to, of course, turn it with the lining and always iron. It makes your work very neat. So once we are done, we've gone ahead to join the shoulders together. We're going to have to join the shoulders together. So by the time you join the shoulder, this is what we are going to have. This is what we are going to have. You can see, you can see the shape of your jacket is almost ready. So you can see it. So it has this opening here. That is the form of the jacket. So the next thing you will just do now is you will go ahead and attach your sleeve. This is our sleeve, right? Go ahead and attach your sleeve to the armhole this way. Go ahead and attach your sleeve to the armhole. So by the time you attach your sleeve, this is what it's going to look like. So this is the shape of the sleeve we cut out. And this is what it's going to look like. So once you are done, the jacket is pretty much ready. Go ahead and stitch the sleeve and also stitch the side. So I'll do this for this side. 
and for this other part i'll go ahead and fix in our sleeve this way i'll go ahead and fix in our sleeve and after fixing the sleeve i'll go ahead and stitch it all the way and then i'll show you guys the final look of the jacket oh so you can see how cute our jacket is so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and fix in the collar so what we are going to do is we are going to measure let me place it this way we are going to measure the neckline all the way round so at this point try to measure it you know as many times as possible so i'm basically just measuring what i have round so i have about 16 inches for the neckline so what, what i basically did is i just went ahead to measure what we have here all the way round so now we have 16 inches the next thing we are going to do is i'm going ahead to cut out um it's just basic fabric and i'm going ahead to iron my collar state to it so that you can have a form of structure on it and this is what i have once i'm done ironing it so the wideness of this collar totally depends on you so for me now i have about two inches but i folded one inch this way so by the time i'm done sewing i'm going to have one inch you can see i'm going to have one inch as the standing collar and what i have here is my sewing allowance so now i'm going to take this um jacket I'm going to take the jacket and of course the length of what we have is the length of our neckline right so i'm going to take this jacket now and i'm going to go ahead and stitch this you can see i'll go ahead and stitch this all the way round i'll go ahead and stitch this all the way around so basically basically by the time you stitch it round you are going to have something like this i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say but Anyways, just take this, open it up, and then stitch all the way round, all the way round. So once I'm done stitching all the way round, I'll definitely show you guys what we have. 